Right then, guys, here we go. The TR6, uh, previously sold by us last year. There's a large file of documents and old MOTs uh, and invoices uh, and description and photos of the restoration from 1998. So there you go. We've got a bit of paperwork with the car. I thought I recognised it. It's a good number, that ULH4N. thought it rang a bell. Um, obviously change it for, changing it for something else it came in over the weekend as far as i was out this weekend watching a bit of rally and it wasn't my weekend on so i didn't see the car arrive um but it looks a real level old thing i just fired it up uh, just pulled it forward earlier on this morning and uh, engine sounds very sweet i will start it up again for you in a minute um, but yeah ran lovely and quiet um, nice and tidy under the bonnet not show winning by any means but very presentable good over them arches and things Nice and tidy towards the back of the bulkhead. A few little bits won't sand him back and tidying up. Uh, but overall, engine and things is all nice and clean. Top of the wings and things are good. Um, yeah, overall, not too bad under there. A few little bits on bonnet lips and edges and things. Look, not perfect, um, but very presentable. Nice and tidy around this near side front arch. Wheels look very good. Door gaps aren't perfect, but they're okay. The soft top itself looks to be in good condition. Nothing's jumping out at me in terms of rips or tears. In fact, all that looks very good. Let's have a look inside here. Look, where are we? Nice and tidy on the door cards. Same with all the door skins. Shuts and things are okay. Nice black leather with white piping. Nice dash top. Dash itself is just going a little bit in places, but you certainly won't rush out and do it. Have you tried it up this morning? Yeah, it runs ever so quiet. You want a little bit of choke, not too much. No. There you go. Lovely. Nice and tidy around the rear bumper, guys. Chrome work and things is good. Tonneau cover in the back as well, as you can see. All nice carpets and things. What we got in this little box? Oh, a couple of uh, brake shoes. Nice and straight under the boot lid. There you go. Yeah. A yeah, presentable looking car, a good usable thing. Again, very good round these this driver's side rear arch. That runs brilliantly for one of these. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, Absolutely ever so quiet. Right? I just yeah. told a guy who just come down to look at TR6, don't buy an injection. I said, buy a carburetor one. <laughs> and I've come out here, and that's <laughs> the smoothest, quietest injection one I've heard <laughs> in probably 10 years. Yeah, so I'm just going to go and eat my hat now in the office. Um, yeah, normally speaking, as TR6 people will know, they do not run like that. That is that is exceptional. Me that. and John were talking yeah. about this morning. He yeah, ran yeah, one yeah. for a bit, and he said the same thing. He said yeah. that's the quietest one I've heard in a long yeah. time. What a nice car that is, isn't it? Just yeah, we sold it last year. Oh, did we? We did, yeah. We wrote down on a note somewhere. I don't know. I'll put it just on here. Look, what we got. Yeah, previously. I know you lose track. I thought yeah, I remembered yeah, the registration, yeah. right? It's a good, good plate on there. Incidentally, guys, you better check it or go with it, but I'm sure it will. Yeah, if it's a dual um, clutch, you just check it. Will do. It's not it's, that, no, it's not exactly. That. Not too much, but it looks well. But um, well, if you want a nice, usable TR6 that you can be. Um, yeah, you can be proud of and turn up anywhere in, can't you? Mm. It's there, isn't it? There you go. Mm. You better come down and have a little look, guys. See what you think. Thank you.